Okay, so now that we have our surface, we can explore things a little bit. What we know, for example, is if I click here, Topo de Raster shows four, 436, so that's the interpolated elevation. Now if I turn that off, turn this off and turn the DM on that's underneath it, that same area, you see I get an elevation of 406. So basically the interpolated raster elevation above or the interpolated mesa surface above the current arc about 30 meters, so there's been 30 meters of erosion at that location since the formation of the mesa terrace and then its abandonment. So let's make a, a map of the total um, uh, erosion everywhere in the in this um, area. So let's turn off the raster there and or the points, and we'll leave these two surfaces on. We're going to go to spatial land find our friend here under map algebra called raster calculator. Raster calculator is really pretty nice. It's you guys know this from also from MATLAB. We just are going to take one matrix and subtract from it another. So the we double click the the top matrix is the top elevation uh, data that we just made, the interpolated surface. Say minus the DEM that we have and we'll call we'll let this just be called raster 1. Okay, and here's our map so there's portions of it that don't really make a lot of sense and that is, and if I turn on the uh, the our constraints, here they are. So over here in Red Mountain it says that, you know, it's quite a bit higher. So, but here in the middle, um, I click there, you can see the pixel value is 29 and that's what we had figured out, it was about 30 meters. So that's the elevation difference between these two surfaces. So the last thing you'd want to do would be to probably make a, a sort of a tight little uh, polygon around these uh, observations of the remnants and extract, uh, just use that as a big cookie cutter to extract that portion of the more well-constrained erosion map.